Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. It's probably awesome, but I started down this path. I want, I want to find out, like, this general person. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in sword food school. <gasps> and you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. So popular. She told him things no one else knew. But she never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Yeah, it would. It would show that the bad guy is vulnerable. So I've got Lapino, and he's just playing cards, basically. And so now I've got to go and try and find my ex best mate, who I grew up with, but is now like the general for the evil bad guy. You know, this the fox guy's had a life. already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Yeah, it's war, mate. And she's apparently on the side of mass murderers, so... There we go. Wow, stuff! Maybe I can upgrade my sword soon. Oh! Lever, activate it. Oh, it's a lift, this one. Why don't you float? Same amount of lack of safety on this piece of equipment. Dead ra dead ravens. And dead rabbits. Oh, okay. Okay, they had a big fight. Cabbages! My cabbages! It's good to practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's limbering up. Getting ready for the action. Oh, what's this? Just a lantern. Whoa! K.O. Can I open this? Wrong sword! Look how big it is! Oh my god! Oh, oh, you're taunting the game. Gogglers. Gogglers? Bernardo <gasps> hated gogglers. I don't think I'm a fan. It was of almost gogglers. impossible to sneak past them. If one didn't spot you, another one would. Well, that, that wasn't so bad. I mean, they have lots of eyes, but they all seem to be looking one way. Ooh, open stuff! Give me stuff. I've, got, uh, I've only got six pieces of wool, so I haven't actually got that much wool. Oh, okay, that might be a little harder. Can I pull it? Which way? Which way are you looking? Which way are you looking? Oh, escape. Dazed and then kill. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I can do that. How long's the range? The range is longer than they can see. Ah! How bad is my aim? Okay. It's really sliced like ham. They do. Oh, I want some ham now. Bacon. Well, you don't know which way to go? Don't know which way to path? Aha! Now I come from behind and then snappy snappy. You have got sliced, my friend. Here we go. Open sesame. Sesame. Oh, okay, it's two. Are they coming this way? They might not. They're going to be on their own path, aren't they? That's done. Oh, it closed behind me. Oh, that's sneaky. Oh, wait, is he not dead? Okay, that was close. He probably would have got up and seen me. It would have gone wrong. Okay, can't go back. These things on the floor, they must mean something. Maybe they count more in a second playthrough. <gasps> Old bunny rabbit with a cloak. So, what's this plan of yours? You oh, it's you! Bait, said Lapino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. 
Go Filipino ski, snap fire toad, watermelon plan. Uh, not the time for no, no, totally time for hairbrain scheme, totally. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, said Lapino as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. Oh, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna upgrade my sword. A crafting bench. Yeah. Renato wondered what he could make with it. No, at the moment I just wanna upgrade this. Look badass. Oh right, okay. Swords consume energy. So this is a new thing. So switch swords. All right, okay. Sword at maximum level. Quickly recover health over time. Costs energy. What's this? Both energy. And I. Oh, can I open this now? Wrong sword. Oh, and I can't go back to open the other things. If I had a more powerful sword, I could have opened the other doors. That's what I could have done if I made the other choice, maybe. Ah. Can't we just agree to disagree? Yeah, man. Just agree to disagree. No. You got sword food, my friend. Oh. Dead. Took a couple of hits though. But does that mean I can just go? How much health? It's over nine thousand. Okay, okay, so it uses up a fair chunk. Can't overuse it. Hello? Renato felt dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, the Pino's idiotic plan worked. Yeah! Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said. Are those. New scars. They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two, <laughs> said Latino. But the fleet was coming on fast. So they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye. Without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Ah! Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped with horror. Oh, wow. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, should head for the Imperial outpost, yelled Lapino. You have to catch her. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I just checked to see if the game reloads at the same point, and it does. Um, and also, Windows 10 is bugging the crap out of me because he keeps popping up saying, Oh, some of your windows are blurry. Would you like to fix it? And just quit me out of the game. So, I'm going to leave it there and just say thanks for watching i'm actually really enjoying this game i didn't really know much about it i just got it because it looked nice and it was cheap and uh yeah yeah it's good so far i'm definitely going to continue this at least just just to see where the story goes for as long as it interests me anyway um either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch you guys next time